The Apple Watch does not have a third-party watch face store. But what it does have, it has uh, Apple's watch face store uh, where you can have different uh, watch faces with different complications and uh, show different uh, factors. Uh, but what you can also do is use your photos uh, to make your own watch faces. Okay. Now this is like a watch face for my barcode at my gym. Uh, when every time I scan it, uh, the person working behind the desk and people around me like, oh, that's so awesome. How did you do that? So I figured I'd make a video about it. You can also use uh, screenshots that you took with your iPhone because obviously you use your iPhone and the watch app uh, to do all this. Uh, I have different watch faces like the Hello Kitties uh, and you can swipe along. Uh, each one of these pictures is an album with just one picture in it. Um, and you can also do an album that has multiple pictures in it. Okay, now. You can also use all of your iCloud iPhoto uh, pictures, but I don't store my photos in the iCloud because you only get five gigs from Apple and it's not enough. Uh, it runs out too quick and you keep getting those uh, storage full messages. But uh, what I'm going to show you is that there's different ways uh, that you can make these watch faces and I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so let's turn on the recorder for the uh, phone and I'll show you. Uh, what it's all about okay all right so w what we have is we have our watch face store uh, I have it here and I'm gonna click that and that's your Apple watch uh, app so what it has is it in this section here called photos see when you first open up the face gallery uh, this tab here you have photos at the bottom here so I'm gonna show you Here's photos. Now, uh, like I said, I have no iCloud photos. So you click it here, and you can click Add, and it'll add it to your watch All right, tab. But before you do that, you want to pick Custom, say, for instance. You want to go in your camera. Now, these are screenshots that I took from various uh, web pages. Also, uh, iMessage has um, these little tiny iMessage uh, emojis that you can have when every time you install app, like I have a bunch of uh, Hello Kitty apps. Uh, here that I download it so um, let me show you how to make it so you click and you could do one photo in each of the faces that you have or you could have multiple photos up to 10 okay so up to 10 and you hit done now if you wanted to reposition them uh, you can click here you can move them down or up um, you know whatever way you want if especially if the picture is big uh, you can you know mag it up or whatever okay so like this one, I can mag it up, move it down. See, it was too high. I can move it down and fix it up nice. Okay. Now, as far as the gym app, uh, I can go here. And most gym apps uh, have barcodes that you can open up and then you put your phone underneath the barcode. So what I did was I just simply screenshot it. Hit the home button and the power button and it screenshot it. And I close it down like this and maybe like that and you hit that now the other way is you can click this uh, share button and you scroll over and create a watch face and what we'll do is we'll throw that picture into the my watch app you can make a kaleidoscope uh, for different things okay or you can do your picture there so you can adjust the picture if you click the photo you click here you can adjust it you know make it big make it small do whatever move it up and down and to make it just perfect, okay? You hit select, you hit uh, done, and you hit done, and you're done. Uh, and then you hit the add, and it's going to add it, okay? So then when you go back to the app, we'll uh, swipe that out. I don't have to save it. Uh, we'll go back to the app here, and you're going to see in your watch here it is. All right. So now you have the barcode, and there, there. There it is. So that's a great way. Now, also, I want to show you something that if you go on the internet, say for instance, and you type in, say, Superman S, and you want this picture right here, just simply do it again. Screenshot, okay? Click here, close it all down, get that little X out of there, and hit this button and hit create watch face or save it to your camera and do it through the app. So I'm going to hit it through here. They got some cool kaleidoscope there. 
but I'm going to add this one and it's going to add it. And that's it. Boom. Done. So now when I go back to the watch app, I have a cool watch app. Now what would be great, and you tell me if you agree, is if we had a third party watch face app um, that we can install. Um, you know, the, uh, the uh, developers can make their own and they use GIFs and they use, uh, you know, motion uh, pictures and stuff like that. That would be sweet and have even the Siri complication uh, in that because right now the only way you can get Siri is if you use this watch, the Siri watch face right now. I would love to be able to put Siri on any one of the watch faces. That would be good too. Tell me what you think. Anyway, this has been Dave from Ask Uncle Dave. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Make sure you hit that like button. I appreciate it. Enjoy your watch faces and I will see you on the next video. Thank you.